Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm starting out with a fully prepped cup and I went in with Rust-Oleum. Um, it was the color Vintage Blush and it was a satin finish. And I went ahead and just sprayed that all over my cup. So now I'm going in with about less than 1 ml, I would say, or right, right about 1 ml of epoxy. This is how I apply my glitter. These are the colors I'm going to be using. I will put the name on the screen. Um, these are all by Peachy Olive Glitters. And I'm kind of just making um, a custom mix out of these three glitters. Since this is going to be a split tumbler, I went ahead and took a dry erase marker and kind of marked like where the middle would be right across the tumbler so I would kind of have like a guideline whenever I'm applying my glitter. You could tape this off with painter's tape um, on both sides and um, do it that way and you could use like Mod Podge if you wanted to. I just prefer this way and it was honestly pretty easy um, because the line doesn't have to be super straight since we're going to be covering that later. So I kind of just freehanded it, I guess. <laughs> to the other side of my split, I am applying a white glitter. It's a holographic glitter. That's why I'm applying it right on top of my blush pink. Um, that's why I didn't really tape off my tumbler when I was painting and I just painted it all one color. It's because I kind of wanted that uh, sorry, not blush pink, vintage blush It's what the color is called. I kind of wanted it to come through, uh, like through that holographic glitter and give it kind of like a rose gold kind of look. And I didn't mention before, but for the bottom, I just went in with the same white glitter and it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at the shine and how pretty those colors are. Now I'm going in with my first coat of epoxy. I do like to stop my tumbler um, and do the handle first, just so I'm not chasing the handle as the my turner is spinning. It's just super easy uh, doing it this way. I do have about 25 mLs of epoxy. I use Mr. Nola's glitter epoxy for this tumbler, and I did end up using all of it on the tumbler. This is a 20 ounce tumbler, by the way, from Craft Haven. After about 10 minutes of applying my epoxy, I will go in with my torch and kind of hit it for just a few seconds uh, to get those bubbles that have come up to the surface. Now I'm going in and getting all that extra epoxy from the top and I'm going to be exposing a thin line of stainless steel on the top of, top of my tumbler. To make this step easier, you could always go in with a heat gun and just hit it for like literally two seconds um, so that your epoxy comes out or comes off super uh, fast. Then I'm going in with my 80 grit sanding block and just um, hitting those spots that are kind of rough on the tumbler, uh, especially the bottom. The bottom usually tends to be one of the spots that you kind of have to go in. And of course, the top to expose that thin line of stainless steel. Now I'm going in and applying my water slides. I got these images from Canva. I will try my best to link them down below in the description, like put the names of them so you can look it up on Canva. But these I thought were super pretty and the colors went really, really well with this um, uh, glitter color on my tumbler. And I don't like get my water slides super, super wet. I just kind of dip them in there and you'll know when they're ready to come off uh, whenever they're just like sliding right off the paper. So I usually let them sit for like, I would say 30 seconds before I put them on. I'm not sure what happened to uh, the other footage that I had, but I did go in with a second coat after I sanded the top 
uh, rim in the bottom of my cup before applying these water slides and then also this uh, green line that you see here is washi tape I just got this from Michaels um, again I don't know what happened to the footage but I wanted to pop in and just say that Now I'm going in with my third coat of epoxy. As I mentioned before, I do the handles first, so I'm just repeating those steps. And I do know some people seal their tumblers with um, the clear coat from Rust-Oleum. I personally don't because I already seal my water slides with the clear coat before I, I apply them. So I don't really, I haven't ever found the need to do that, but you can if you'd like. Now I'm going in with a chunky rose gold glitter from Peachy Olive Glitters and I'm just going in and sprinkling some on the tumbler with a popsicle stick. I just find that it's easier to like control the amount that you're putting on the tumbler. Um, you can always stop your tumbler to do this. Never chase your tumbler like on your turner. That's just a recipe for destruction. I have done it before, so, le so learn from me. <laughs> but I did notice when I was sanding the handle, I kind of like went through, and I've done this many, many times, so I'm going to show you how to fix it. But I went through that... Um, like the paint so I all I did was just apply some glitter on that part and you can't even really tell look how beautiful it is for my decal I chose this pretty green holographic vinyl that I got right off Amazon I'll make sure to link it down below and I did a black offset just with matte black vinyl. I also got this off Amazon and I thought this would look super cute on the tumbler. And also how relatable is this quote? I know most toddler moms are super tired. I have a two year old and I know you can relate. <laughs> Whenever I'm dealing with an offset, I like to use the hinge method, I believe that's what it's called, to apply my first layer onto my offset layer um, of my vinyl. So all I do is just split that backing in half from the transfer tape and I will line up the first half, make sure everything is um, lined up and then I'll go ahead and put it down and then go and like do the other side and it always turns out super super good Now I'm going in with my third coat of epoxy and I'm starting with the handle again and I've got about 20 mls this time and I'm just going to go in and um, spread it around my cup and after this coat I will go in with a fourth and final layer. I didn't need too many layers on this tumbler because I was using fine glitter. And I made sure to push all of my glitter down, like if there was any glitter um, standing up, like of the chunky glitters beforehand, so that they would all lay flat. Here's the final look. I am so obsessed with it. I love everything about this cup. I love the holographic vinyl and the glitters. They all just blended so well. 
If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you do recreate this Tumblr, make sure to tag me on social media. I would love to see it. Bye, guys.